Aaron Donald retires after 10 seasons, and he actually told Sean McVay right after they lost to the Lions in the wild card that he was going to retire. He texted Sean McVay and said, I'm full. And Sean McVay said, hey, man, rightfully so. You should be. You played for 10 years. You were the best at your position, arguably, all 10 years. Yes, even as your rookie year. Yes, even in your year. Last year, you were a little hurt. And this year, as you were recovering, Aaron Donald made the double team known. He made the triple team known. If you could not stop Aaron Donald, you really did not have a good chance at beating the San Diego, or not San Diego, the um, the St. Louis slash now the Los Angeles uh, uh, Rams. Lord, I almost said Chargers. Aaron Donald as the defensive tackle over the last 10 years in the NFL. Let's just go ahead and say it. He's the best defensive tackle there's ever been. His accolades, his stats, the way that he was actually able to, to play at the highest level for a decade straight, steps away at the end of his game, at the end of his career, still playing at a high level. Maybe not his best. I believe his best years are just a little bit past him, but Aaron Donald still had to be respected. He could still get you 10, 15 sacks in a year. He could still wreck a game. He's still going to require that double team. Aaron Donald is just the second defensive tackle ever to reach 100 sacks along with John Randall. He's the fastest defensive tackle to ever reach 100 sacks. He led the NFL in sacks in 2018 with 20 and a half. He joins J.J. Watt and Lawrence Taylor, who is regarded as one of the best, if not the best, defensive player of all time. To win three defensive players of the year, J.J. Watt, Lawrence Taylor, Aaron Donald, Donald, only three people can say that they've won three DPOYs in their career. We know Aaron Donald could have easily had five. We saw the voter fatigue to where he could have had really four years in a row. He won two, missed a season, ended up winning another one. <clears throat> he was 10 for 10 in Pro Bowl selections in the 10 years that he played. He was an eight-time first-team All-Pro, including seven All-Pro first teams in a row at one point. The Super Bowl champion, we know that he also had the play on Joe Burrow at the end of the game to basically secure it. And then he's going down the sideline, tapping his left, or excuse me, going down the field, tapping his finger, winning the Super Bowl at home. And we knew that it was time for Aaron Donald to get that ring. We also heard about the speculations of Aaron Donald retiring as well. He ended up holding off for two seasons because, you know, it kind of you know, it felt like the Rams – we we didn't expect, I don't know if we ever expect teams to have Super Bowl hangovers. They had one of the worst Super Bowl hangovers we ever saw. And then he gave it another shot. And, I mean, the Rams lost in the wild card to the team that went to the NFC Championship and had every chance to go to the Super Bowl. So Aaron Donald really gave it all he had. And he said that on his Instagram post for 10 years, 365 days a year, everything he had invested in him was dedicated to football. Now he's going to go spend time with his wife. Now he's going to go spend time with his four children. Between 2015 and 2021, he only had less than 11 sacks he only let, had less than 11 sacks at one point in that span. He only had four seasons without double-digit sacks. Two seasons he finished with eight, one of those this, uh, this prior year. One season he had finished at nine. If you think those stats are crazy, open your ears for this one to really understand how Aaron Donald was just absolutely unstoppable. He's a damn alien. He is on another planet. According to ESPN Analytics and NFL Next Gen Stats, over the past five years, which ironically was after his league-leading 20-and-a-half sack season, Aaron Donald was double teamed a league high 1,510 times, which is 40 and a half percent as a pass rusher. That was 135 more double teams than any other player. He beat 186 of those double teams within two and a half seconds. Just sit in your head for a second and count to two and a half and think about everything that's going on around you as an NFL quarterback. You got two guys on Aaron Donald. He's breaking that double team in that amount of time. Just go ahead and think about it and imagine having to process everything on the field because once two and a half seconds is up, even if you got two guys on Aaron Donald, he's breaking through that damn line. He beat 186 of those 1,510 double teams over that five-year period within two and a half seconds. That was 51 more than any other player. Ironically, Chris Jones was second. He had, he had 135 of those double teams beat within two and a half seconds. Aaron Donald had 117 pressures on those double teams, which was 33 more than the second place gentleman that was on the list. Over the past five years, again, after his 20 and a half sack season, the NFL average pass rush win rate against a single pass blocker was 17% for a qualified rusher. Aaron Donald posted an 18% pass rush win rate against double teams in that span, making him better against two pass blockers as one person than the average pass uh, rusher was against over one pass blocker over the last five years. I'll say that again. 
Aaron Donald was better against a double team in that five-year span than any other person on average was against a regular one-on-one trench matchup. According to ESPN Stats and Information Research, Donald is one of two defensive players since the 1970 AFL-NFL merger to earn a Pro Bowl selection in each of their first 10 seasons, alongside none other than Lawrence Taylor. Aaron Donald and Barry Sanders are the only players in NFL history to play at least 10 seasons and get selected to the Pro Bowl in each season. According to the Elias Sports Bureau, Barry Sanders also played 10 seasons, retiring in 1998. That's everything that needs to be said about Aaron Donald. To know that that man was double teamed more than anybody in that five-year span after he put the league on notice with 20 and a half sacks, which hasn't been done very often. He was beating double teams in less time than everybody else was by a good stretch, by at least, I don't know, three, six, nine, by about 20%. He had a 20% advantage on everyone else behind him. He is better against double teams in that five-year span than people in a one-on-one matchup in the NFL. Only the third player ever to win three defensive player of the years. He's a Super Bowl champion. Second fastest, excuse me, fastest defensive tackle to ever reach 100 sacks. Just the second defensive tackle to ever reach 100 sacks again with John Randall. Seven All-Pros in a row. Only less than 11 sacks one time between 2015 and 2021, and only four seasons overall without double-digit sacks. Give the flowers to Aaron Donald. Lay it all out there for him. He's the best defensive tackle to ever do it. And all quarterbacks league-wide, worldwide, will be grateful that Aaron Donald has retired from the NFL. Quarterbacks' fingers are safe. Their bodies are going to be a little less crushed. And he won't be there to raise hell and wreak havoc like he did for a decade straight, 10 straight years at the top of his game, best at his position. And I'm grateful that he won a Super Bowl. Just for just so you know how badly Aaron Donald wanted to leave. He gave up thirty three and a half million guaranteed to retire, to hang it up, still playing at a high level, which Aaron Donald's got money. Okay, he's he's got it. He's probably going to get a lot of off-field stuff, you know, good, good promotions. We see what Gronk and Travis Kelsey and some other retired players are able to get in terms of TV deals, commercials, sponsorships. Aaron Donald will get plenty of that. Thank you for everything you did in the NFL, Aaron Donald. It was such a pleasure watching you. I'm grateful to know that I got to watch one of the best players of all time play at the highest level for a decade straight, and I got to see most of his tape.